Hey folks, if you didn't catch the importance of this morning's top story, I don't blame you. The morning news rundowns can be pretty fast. We don't have time to go into detail. But here, we can, and this one was important. If you will recall, the magnetic fields inside the sun continue to decline. They recognize that this trend is likely to continue and that it will even have the potential to affect the climate. This is, of course, one of our key discussion points at the channel, the solar forcing of the terrestrial atmosphere. But here, there are two other aspects to this article that go beyond a simple climate connection, and those deserve a bit more discussion. Now, these magnetic changes also give us two pieces of the larger puzzle when it comes to what we're watching on the sun on even longer time scales. This really bolsters the idea that grand solar minimum will be in sunspot cycle 26, likely in the 2030s. Now it's not definitive. We are going to have to look at the solar polar fields over the next several years, but this is something that we have been talking about. We have been looking forward to maybe this being the upcoming sunspot cycle. Yes, a lot of individuals did think there was a chance it could be this sunspot cycle. The solar polar fields told us differently and quite obviously, we are not in a grand solar minimum just yet. But this article really puts the idea firmly in play that the next sunspot cycle, sunspot cycle 26, again, in the 2030s, has a much higher likelihood of being that grand solar minimum. Now here's the important thing. We here at the observers are looking even further ahead to when the sun, like all of the spheres in the solar system, really loses its magnetic power. And when that happens, it will start to lose its luminosity at the same time as it will lose its ability to blast away dust and gases and other material that could then accumulate in the upper atmosphere, what we call the corona. When that magnetism kicks back in, again, due to the galactic current sheet, and if you don't know what we're talking about right now, please take the time, look down below the video in the description box, click the Earth Disaster Playlist. It's going to tell you all about why the Earth is changing the way it's changing, why the Sun is changing the way it's changing, what is happening throughout the solar system, it is galactically driven, and how the zenith, the peak of the disaster, is going to be something we call the solar micronova. And it's because that accumulated material, when the sun really loses this magnetic power, which again, we are on that track and it's continuing now, when that kicks back into higher magnetic power on the other side of the galactic current sheet, which again, is engulfing our solar system right now, that's when the outer shell gets blasted off in the solar micronova. So this directly mentions the sun's effect on climate and how the magnetic power, therefore the electrical activity on the surface, has the potential to affect the climate. This plays in the grand solar minimum and in the longer scale, even though they don't use the term uh, solar micronova, this absolutely plays into the story that we have been telling, the evidence that we have been seeing, and everything else that is leading us on this march through the galactically driven disaster. Anyway, again, Answers to all the questions you might have is in that playlist below the video. And uh, presuming my voice holds out tomorrow morning, I'll see you then for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.